we use Cabinet Pro uh, by saying we, it's basically my wife and I, uh, one man shop. Uh, I do have one gentleman that does come in and help me from time to time. He's 83 years old. And basically, he just wants to come in and smell the sawdust. <laughs> uh, an old cabinet maker that just refuses to give up. Uh, but anyway, um, we manufacture mid to high-end uh, residential kitchens, home offices, libraries. Uh, I also do commercial cabinetry. Um, I do I, the commercial cabinetry that I do is usually uh, installed in military installations. Um, some of it is shipped around the country. Uh, I also have a, uh, a commercial client that I build um, cashier's desks for. And once again, I ship them all over the country. Um, when you're using the program, when I use the program for uh, my commercial cabinets or my military installation cabinets. Uh, those draw, I have to provide drawings on all of that, uh, and it needs to be sectional. It needs to be complete shop drawings with all the uh, the specs on every piece of material, um, and that those drawings must be emailed to sometimes as many as 20 people for approval. So um, having software is essential to my business because there is no way that I can hand draw those drawings to the specs that they require and then get them out to everybody. I just couldn't do it. I mean, I've been in the business for many, many years, started working in my grandfather's shop when I was about six years old. Um, so I did, at one time, for a long time, I did hand drawings. And as Jake said, I made a lot of mistakes. I underbid, underbid many, many jobs. Um, but when I bought the program in 2002, uh, I realized that my customers seemed to uh, appreciate and look at me as a more professional because the drawings were much more professional off of the computer than they were being hand drawn. Uh, and I also noticed that because um, I was using the computer to generate the cut lists and the material lists and the drawings uh, and also the bidding, that people believed me a lot more and did not uh, try to negotiate the price quite as much because they realized that it wasn't me pulling the number out of the air. It's all the computer's fault. The computer's what charges for everything. Uh, I have gone in with my laptop to a customer's house because I don't have a whole lot of time being a one-man shop. Sat down at their kitchen table uh, and basically walked out of there many times with a deposit check in less than two hours with the kitchen drawn, bid, and ready to go. Uh, doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen an awful lot. Uh, and as, like Jake was saying, when you design the kitchen, you have maybe one, uh, one idea in your mind. But it's kind of hard to get the customer's idea out of their head, you know. Uh, so when they look at your drawing, your 3D drawing uh, or rendering on the computer, they say, well, that's not exactly what I want. You can change it with just a, you know, a couple clicks of the mouse. Uh, you can change that draw bank into a, into a base cabinet. Uh, you can make the, make the island bigger, smaller, whatever you need to do to get that rendering to look like what the customer visualizes in their head. I know all of you 
that have dealt with customers on a one-to-one -one basis, um, you know that they got these ideas in their heads that sometimes you would never have thought of, you know, and sometimes just really don't work, but if that's what they want to do, you got to do it. Um, Cabinet Pro is uh, fully customizable down to the 32nd of an inch or so. Um, so if I need to make a, a base cabinet that's uh, you know, 15 and 7 sixteenths wide, that's what I make. And the cut list reflects it. Um, I do have a CNC machine. Uh, I got Shop Saber CNC in 2007. Uh, and when I upgraded to the, uh, from the regular design and bidding program with Cabinet Pro to the CNC, they didn't charge me for a new program. All they charged was for the, the difference between the two programs, which really saved me a lot of money um, and a lot of work because all of my construction methods that were in the program just automatically went right into the CNC edition. So I didn't have to redo anything. Uh, the setup, I am not a computer geek at all, so the setup of it did take me a little bit longer than most people uh, because you do have to tell Cabinet Pro exactly how you build the cabinets. How many stretchers do you use? What size are your stretchers? Things like that. Uh, you know, do you uh, dado your fixed shelves in or do you butt join them? Uh, same thing with your bottoms and your tops, your top stretchers and, and everything. So you have to tell it exactly what you're doing. And that did take me about six hours to do. Um, but I have heard of guys that have actually got the program up and running in a couple hours. Uh, so it was really easy for me to learn and easy for me to use. Uh, you know, the, uh, the bidding options, my wife was really happy because I don't have to remember or I don't forget anymore to include the uh, specialty hinges, uh, anything else that is special to a uh, particular cabinetry. And I do build both face frame and frameless cabinets, so uh, the program works with both of them. Uh, I would say that uh, Using the software has cut down on my uh, time that I spend on bidding and, and drawing a job out. Uh, and I would say it has probably increased, um, well, I, I can't say how much the program increased my sales uh, when I bought it in 2002, but I can tell you that in 2007 when I went to the CNC, I went from about 100,000 a year to right in the three to $400,000 range. And I'm spending a little bit more time working, but I'm not spending triple the time. So it has definitely increased uh, my bottom line. 